Shut up now. He, 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 he comes. No, no, no. He's already here. 
and I can see and I understand if I don't want my mom to yell, and I don't want my mom to shout, and I don't want my mom to call his attention, he will pass me by. My God help us in this place. Holy Spirit, you are already teaching. So the Lord has shifted. He answered my prayer. I prophesied, been prophesied for years and years that God was going to send a family of musicians to this house. Amen. And they were going to just come in and take charge. Amen. Now, little did I know that, that when I was prophesying that we had a great praise team in place. We had things in place. But, but I didn't know that we were going to go through a season of, 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 of just standing, a season of, of no worship, a season of no praise, a season of nothing on the keyboard, a season of nothing on the drum, a season of the pen. And then what happened? My whole prayer was going, don't let the people get low to sleep. Amen. And it happened. Now I call out to you all and I command you to wake up out of your sleep. Amen. No longer will you sit back and play a tragedy here on Sunday. Amen. Everything we need is in the house. You're in the house. The fire fire is in me. The fire fire is in me. I've been commanded by my God to make the call of the Lord. I may not have a good tool in me, but I saw that an oil on the inside of me. I stand in my foot of the day. And the Lord of the Lord is in the Lord. The man in the land of the Lord. I have full of riches. I have the joy of God in the world.
That's what that's what the father's designed to do. Correct his children when they get out of line. And he can use whatever vessel he wants to use to correct his children with. That I understand. So I'm, I'm one that I'm humble enough that I put clauses in my in my communication or relationship with him. God, this is there that you can check me how you want to check me. Whenever you want to check me. Because I know I'm a man. And although you're not a man and you don't lie or you repent, I do. Yes. Repent means to change your mind. I do. And so I praise God for that relationship that him and I have. And I, I just want you all to come aware of what's been given to you. I want, it's now time for you to raise up and make yourself utilize what God has provided. The season for substitute praise and worship is over. Some of the reasons why you could never get a true breakthrough and manifestation because you were trying to uh, 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 get the feeling you got when you was on home alone in the shower or in the car when that song came up. Right. Right. Problems with that is that that was just between you and God. Right. So you, you, it, it, it was harder to include everybody in yeah. your personal yeah. experience. Yeah. But when you come together at a congregation yeah. and, and we become one sound, we yeah. didn't to be and make it one sound. Yeah. And so Lord, something resonates in heaven and in hell and a variety of takes place in the earth that cannot be denied. Amen? Amen. Things get lined, things get on the floor. Amen? Amen? Because of the anointing. Amen? Amen. Somebody said, because of the anointing, everything in my life has to align. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. So I'm excited and I'm ready because the Lord is truly in the midst of dreaming. Amen. Amen. But y'all ready for the word this morning? Yes. Yes. I feel like I'm already preaching. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Today is going to be a great Day. example of the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. If you've been a person who's watching, or you've been a person in the building, keep playing, keep playing. If you've been a person watching on Facebook, or you're a person in this building, and you've been in, 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 the, in the body of Christ for a long time, and you have had issues with, with being able to receive revelation as it's being dropped, today's your day. Today's your day. The Word of God is going to hit you in such a way that you're going to be, you're going to know that this is the nothing but the undeniable truth of God's word. Amen. This is the way, and I'm going to walk in here. Amen. Amen. I want you by faith, and I say the word of God, word of God. is alive, alive. And, active. and active, easily, easily. To, be to be understood. Therefore, Therefore I, understand I understand the word of God today, the word of God today. Quickly. quickly. My God, my God, my God. I didn't just put that in the of scripture, amen? That's right. So we've been, we've been, we've been quoting, and we started reading about the Holy Spirit, and then he would make us a quick understanding, amen? Amen. 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 That, see, we have to learn how to take the word of God and begin to confess it so, so that we can um, get it to manifest in our lives, amen? If we, don't, if we just read the word of God and then begin to confess the word of God over our lives, then we don't have, we will never ever see the quick manifestation of the change the word of God has said it has the ability to do, Amen. So with that being said, let us, um, I'm going to give you some scripture, but I'm also be talking to me. Some things I may turn to, some things I may not turn to. However, that's not going to um, exclude you or admit you from, that, from being able to, not having to be able to go back and understand and read the word of God for yourself at home. Amen? Amen. I was in the back um, earlier getting prepared, and I had just asked the Lord, um, what is it that you want to talk about? And Lola comes knocking on the door, and I said, come on in the house. And the Lord began to, he began to talk to me about, Apostle, man, you know, whatever you want to do with that money to fix the roof, you can just put it somewhere else. He said, because did you not notice that we had all this rain, and we don't have one, he said drop, and I said trap. <laughs> we didn't have not one trap in the sanctuary. And I said, no, uh, slow down. It was never ever about the roof. He got he like he was like he was confused. Like a lot of y'all already got. A lot of y'all probably thought, oh they done fixed the roof. Oh that rain with the hand. We have 
should not take the roof. The roof was never messed up. Holy Spirit told me when he first started to happen, he said, son, don't, he said, listen to me. And it's not about, about this roof. He said, you have entered into another level of success and another level of rest. But, but I need you to understand what it looks like. He said, so because when you've entered into another level of rest and another level of anointing, of, of, of an another level of blessing, everything on earth that does not agree with you yes. and me will fight you to the toe there. Yes. It will make you believe, all of that will make you give up on what I say. Yeah. Make you come against what I've already done. Yes. And the way you and I do that is without complaining, our doubting, our unbelief, our frustrations, yes. our inability to comprehend what the Lord has released and done. I don't care what it looks like. Yes, Lord. I truly believe God. Yes. I don't care what it looks like, what it sounds like, what it feels like. I have chosen to believe God. Amen? Amen. So the Lord told me, he said, son, tell him this. He said, have him repeat this. I want every person, person in here to repeat the scripture. <laughs> to whom much is given, much is, given. Much, is much is required. To whom much is given, much is, given. Much is required. Much is to whom much is given, what is required? Much is required. To, whom to whom much is given. Much is required. And the problem with that statement is we put the requirement on us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Because we've been given so much. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we, we took the requirement and said, now that I've been given so much, I require it. It's my responsibility to do much. But the Holy Ghost said, so if you just read up in the, in the scriptures, we don't read it right away. So I'm going I'm to read it for a moment just so we can catch it as he flows it out. Amen? Because I want you to see. See, you've got to quit just getting the text and read the text. You've got to allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you. And it shows in the scripture, go to Luke 12, 42 to 48. It shows in the scripture. Who the must was given to? And why he was required so much. And although he was required so much, the requirement to make it um, happen or to, or to make the stuff that, that required show up was never on him. It was already provided for. Oh my God, help me this place a little bit. This will help somebody today. Amen. Amen. Well, y'all, they already thought I, I, we, I only got like maybe 36 minutes. Y'all ready? Yes. And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward whom his Lord shall make ruler over his house of, to give them their portion of meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find out so doing. Of the truth, I say unto you that he will make him rule over all that he has. Let's stop right there. Say, I'm a servant of the Lord. I'm a servant of the Lord. I'm a steward, I'm a steward of, everything of everything that God has given me. Has given me. Do y'all see what just happened? God made him a steward over everything he had. The, the ruler here, the, the, the ruler, made this servant a steward. So basically, everything that the ruler is about to ask for, He's all provided. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need y'all to see my God. Oh, yeah. 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 Let me read on. I'm ready to run and preach this thing. I'm going to take my time. So I need y'all. The Holy Spirit open their eyes. You said, my shut down. You said, Lord God, that you will open eyes today. You said that you will open hearts today. You said that you will open ears today. Epitha. I command every closed eye to be open. I command every closed ear to be open. I command every closed heart to be open. I command every closed mind to be open to the voice of the Lord God who's ministering to us right now. To the voice of the Holy Spirit who's ministering to us right now. I command you by releasing the word Epitha. Be open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 
Verse 44, of a truth, I say unto you that he will make him ruler over all that he has. Say, I am a ruler. I am a ruler. Over everything. Over everything. That God has. Now I see. Now, 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 I think, I think, I think, I think. Can I get another? Somebody got a different translation. Can I get a your translation of that verse? Somebody got an NLT or NIV. Mine says, "Truly, I say to you that he will make him ruler over all that he has." Okay, we try to get together. Y'all ready? Verse one five. But if that servant say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to beat the men servants and babies, and to eat and drink and to be drunken, the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him in asunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. And that servant which knew his Lord will be will and prepare not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many strikes. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of strife shall be beaten with few strikes. For unto whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required, and to whom men have committed much of him they will ask the more. We break this thing down for anybody the way the Holy Spirit gave me. You've been praying for the Lord to increase you in your business or in your, in your household. And God says you will go, go, you want to become a, you want to be a business owner and own trucks, go buy some trucks. He gives you the money or he makes the deal for you, you go get it. And all of a sudden, you get about three, four weeks in, everything was going good, you make a little money, you're on the road, everything's going good. And all of a sudden, the tires keep going out. Too much is given. You got the truck, okay, you get tire sticks, right? Right. Mm -hmm. You ain't get the loans like you're supposed to get. Mm -hmm. you, ain't, you ain't get the phone call. You don't have the favor you're supposed to have with the person that, that God first gave you the favor with. Mm -hmm. And you getting upset and frustrated not knowing that the person God gave you the favor with ain't God. Right. What God is saying to you is this. If I gave you the truck, yeah. ask you for the tires. Because I already gave you the tithes too. You should say that's where I put them at. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Come on, Lord. Come on. There's no need for me to get upset about who, why we're not going to pray for worship in this house. Because he already provided for us to keep up prayer and sing us. Yes. My job simply is, well, Lord, where they at? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. No, see, see, that's why the ruler of the house can show up and say, I'm getting stuff. You, uh, why, how come we got the food cook? How come we got we ain't made a meal for everybody in my in my mansion, everybody on my property? And you the head cook? I will sign you as the head cook, and you complain to me about there's not no grits, there's no meal, there's no bacon. Last I checked, I got hogs, I got pigs, I got beef. Thank <laughs> you. 
Amen. Oh, no, you know what? I thank you, Lord, for opening the eyes. Amen. Every eye is being open right now by the Spirit of God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Every eye is being open right now by the Spirit of God. Somebody say, I've been given much. I've been given much. And even though I've required much, I, I, give my, I, I fulfill my requirements, I fulfill my requirements. In, him. in Him. Because it's in Him I move. In him I, move. I, I, live. I live. I breathe. I breathe. And I have my being. Somebody said Jesus. Jesus. Somebody said Jesus. Jesus. Somebody said Jesus. Jesus. The word made flesh. Jesus. Jesus. You said Jesus. Jesus. The word made flesh. Amen. 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 Jesus. The that's what he is. Yes. Amen. He's a he. Jesus. Jesus. He's a mind regulator. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. No, no, no. Because see, he's telling us that son, there are some folk who, 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 who need their mind regulator. Yes. Or, and there's some folk that got people in their life who sit there. Oh my shit. I'm going to sit there. Oh Lord. Do the something for a moment. Come on. Let me bring something out with y'all real quick. If it is too high outside, mm -hmm. to when the heat now is coming in the house, right. society we live in, the time we live in, do I have to succumb to the heat that's on the outside? No. Yeah. I, we, we are modern enough mm -hmm. that we can start pushing some buttons and turning some dials <laughs> to regulate control the temperature that's on the inside of the house, mm -hmm. it can be 115 outside. Yeah, yeah. But baby, I got the right equipment on the inside. Yes. I can put some buttons yes. and it's just a matter of time. Yes. It may get out of about 80 in the house, yeah. but it won't stay 80 in the house. Say that. Yeah, yeah. A lot of you have allowed your temperature from the outside to get on the inside of you. Yeah. And I'm trying to tell you right now that the Holy Spirit says Jesus Christ is a mind regulator. Yeah. He can't wait for me to my mind. We gotta let this mind be in us. So all in Christ Jesus, who brought that body to the evil of God, who became a servant and became a servant to death, even the death of the cross. I'm telling somebody, I need my three people to understand that the resurrection day. I need you to allow God to resurrect your mind, to resurrect your soul, to come out of the super, to come out of the death. It's time to go alive in Christ. I didn't write this to be done. I apologize. I didn't write that. Tell the Colossians. Tell the Colossians. 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 I didn't write it down. That's all right. You told me it was going there. I didn't write it down. My God, my God. Tell the Colossians. 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 Tell the 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 Colossians. But because of falling, you took that thing to him. Yeah, just like that. The thing does not go to me. Ah, ah, I'm Somebody say, I, I have the mind of Christ. I have the mind of Christ. Now, this scripture ain't going to say that now. Yeah. But this is, this is how you, this is how, this how you understand the purpose of the mind of Christ. Okay? Amen. You ready? If you be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Let me help you with something. Because this is where a lot of us get twisted without understanding scripture. Because most of us preachers, we teach scripture from the standpoint of that everything's going to come together and get better and fix when we go to heaven. 
Paul knew better. Right. So Paul writes a letter to this Colossal church. He says, no, 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 no. It's done now. You, you home now. You heal now. You deliver now. You set free now. You rich now. Right? You complete now. Right? You have the authority to go pull as many vehicles that you want to pull. Yes. Now, yeah. not when I get this together, when I get that together, according to what God has said, it is now. Yeah. Amen. See, you talking to me. You have the authority to go do what God said, not what they said. I know right now what they said looks to be more true than what God said. But you need to go to the you, right now you're sitting in the wrong place. You're sitting in the wrong room. In the room you sit in, it's dictating to you what they say. But God says, I need you to come up and sit up here with us. So I can show you what we say and what we say. Oh my God. Amen. See, 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 there's some there's some of us. That, that, that know we be frustrated because they got a little hot down house we, yeah. and it ain't, ain't comfortable because we are sitting in the wrong place. Yeah. And God is saying, the reason why you get the frustrated upset and you're trying to figure this thing out and, and you, you bump your head because you are sitting in the wrong place. If you learn to see or set in heavenly places where Christ is seated, then you, when, when you see, you bring something down about, about being seated in the right place. Have y'all ever been in a, in a restaurant or been in a, in a room or been in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an area and, and you, you see it over here? But it's a fork over there having a conversation. You in the room, you ain't trying to hear what they're saying. But they start talking about something that you've been praying about. And all of a sudden, you say you ain't listening. But you listen. Yes. Some of you might not do like I do. You know, I, I, I'll just get up and just kind of <laughs> get a little closer. Yeah. <laughs> if, I, if that don't work, I'm going to be busy. What you say? Hey, how you doing? Amen. Yes. Look, I'm, I'm sitting in the same place. Amen. And wherever I'm sitting at, I can hear conversations now. That I can't hear if I'm sitting out over there. Yes, it's right. I'm outside the building. Okay. And if my, if my issue has become my seated place, I didn't change where I'm sitting at. We hear you. We hear you. Just change where you're sitting at. Change where I'm sitting. And if you don't know where to sit at, I got a place for you to sit. Yeah. Go stay in the heavenly places. But well, how do I do that when I'm here on earth simple? I got, I got a right here that shows me that I have the right to be seated in this heavenly place. Because I've been risen with Christ. But what determines for me to be risen with Christ? The very fact that I have made him my Lord and my Savior, and that I have fellowship with him on a daily basis with his word, with my prayer language, with my worship. Right? Yes. So whatever I don't understand or I can't comprehend how to come out of this situation or what, what to do next or whatever, all I gotta do is, 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 is say, you know what? I gotta let I gotta let the mind of Christ take over right now. Yeah. Because my mind right now is, is too busy telling me what they say. Right. Give me facts. And we have been great people of making facts our truth. But I'm here to tell you this morning that just because it's a fact, baby, it ain't the truth of God's word. Right. It's, not, it's not the truth. I find all my truth in heavenly places. Amen. Where Christ is seated. Amen? 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 Are y'all still with me? Yes. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 4. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I got about 
actually means. I, I wanted to, um, I had this picture with me and God with the Holy Spirit in the back talking. I saw this door that I was going to place about right here. And on the door I was going to write, um, rest. R-E-S-T. And then over here, I was going to just put a bunch of signs and stuff that just says unbelief and struggle and lack and doubt and, and frustration. And, and but over here, I was going to put manifestation of
obey you. Or they will move from this place to that place. Based off of what you said. Because you now understand that your faith is not in what you studied or read. It's in God. Now how do I keep my faith in God? How do I keep my faith in God? Simple. We're going to back up for a moment. Would you put your um, tassel here and turn to Proverbs chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Y'all ready? So, me not mixing it with 
because faith, is, the reason why I'm not mixing with faith is because I don't believe. I can't mix faith with something I don't believe. I can't believe unless I have faith. Right. So what are we mixing? We're mixing our works. We're mixing our works. Don't worry about it. Wait, you stay with it. Don't get it on your eyes. You're going to get this. You're going to get this. You're going to get this. Again, he lived a certain day, saying in David, today, after so long a time, as it, he, as, as it is said today, if he will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Somebody say first clue. First clue. Somebody say first clue. First, first, first clue. clue. Now, the reason why you were never right there when you and I ever received the, the God kind of faith or have the ability to build faith or have the ability not to walk in unbelief is because of this little, and I'm going to do it this way so y'all can see it, of this little thing right here. The heart. The mind and the soul. The conscience. The heart yeah. is hard. And a hardened heart will always cause me not to receive faith. Mm -hmm. A hardened heart will always make me not believe what God said. Because mm -hmm. a hardened heart is a confused heart. Amen. And God said he's not the author of confusion. We know. For if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? There remained therefore a rest to the people of God. Somebody said, I want my rest. Now, now let me help you with something. Let me give you this for a moment. A lot of y'all think when you say take your rest, I want my rest. You're talking about the rest in place of death. I'm going to help you with this. We all want rest one day. We're not talking about this kind of rest right here. We're talking about a life a blessing that makes things look like you're just sleeping and resting while you're just collecting. Wow. While you're manifesting, okay? You ready? Amen. A life of ease. For he that is entered into his rest, he have also he also has ceased from what? Come on, y'all read the same time I read. Ceased from his own works. As God is from his. Right? So, if the word preach is not being mixed with faith, that's why I don't gain nothing from it, then what am I mixing with? I'm mixing the word with works. I think that just because I show up on every Tuesday and Sunday, and I'm accountable for I'm here, I'm showing everybody in myself and I. I believe in the vision. Mm -hmm. It's my time to do the cafe. I went and bought it. I'm here. But the whole time, you complained. <laughs> you cried. You kept telling yourself, I don't have the money to do this. I don't have enough to do this. I'm this. I'm that. So, no, no, no. You, so, basically, do not need faith. You're working. Because a person in works says, you know what? I got to do this. I'm going to do it. I don't want to do it. Here it goes. But a person in faith. Says it do, does it like this right here. Hmm, I'm not gonna do You might say I ain't got it, but God, oh God, you just make it. You just make it short for me. I, I ain't got no money. I'm gonna go to, to Walmart. Hey, listen, my church, we doing this. Can you can you help? No. Okay, I'm on the food line. Hey, I'm not I'm on my boss. I'm 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 working my faith. Yes, Lord. All right. Yes. I just got ten dollars. Come on. I'm working my faith. I'm missing my faith. It wasn't preaching me. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm. yes. So now, here comes my prophet. Yes. This is the prophet. Mm. I'm not a prophet because of this. Give it, it should be given back to you. Mm -hmm. In good measure. Mm -hmm. Press down. Shake it together. Where no God calls men to give it to your bosom. Let me show you how this faith work instantly for me. How this scripture work instantly for me. I didn't physically have what was preached to me to do. But I took my faith, not my complaints, not my worry, not my struggle, not my what I to call my issue, not what I call my faith. I took my faith. Yeah. Or what I believe on the inside of me, because my faith is in God. God, you told me to do this, you mean that means what is given to me must be required. Show me required hands that put the best me. Is that all my is it?
And not the works. Oh, you pray the Holy Ghost. I ain't preaching the Holy Ghost. You preach the Holy Ghost. Woo! Woo! Mix it with faith. God told me, he said, um, he said, um, I want you to go to Canada and um, build this church. And you're going to take a little piece of it and put your office in it. So I got down here, so to do what God said to do. And as soon as God started blessing my company, he said, now, run away the way I told you to do it. I said, okay. Now, I'm really in another land. <laughs> I did the man all too well. Because mm -hmm. I, I, I be it every day. I know how I'm going to cost me to do it. Mm -hmm. So my mind needs to say 350000 mm -hmm. Didn't have sign Peter's face. <laughs> but what I did have was my own company. Mm -hmm. My own crew. I took some of my guys and said, y'all working at the office today. At that time, my daughter worked with me. I said, see, go to the um, disappear the chairs and put it in the office. Mm -hmm. No one ain't no money coming from the office. <laughs> Somebody said, I'm missing my faith with, 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 with the word preach. I'm missing my faith with the word preach. Word preach. Yes, sir. <laughs> so we didn't have this. didn't look like you look at right now. We had no bathrooms. What we did have was a toilet. We used to flush with, 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 with buckets. They turned the wall off. Not because we had been a deal, but the people's hand had been a deal. But God told me to do something. Right. He, he preached it to me over and over and over and over. And he didn't even use a preacher. Mm -hmm. He used me his time to put together. Okay. I can hear God saying, Todd Taylor, I need you more to give up and believe me. Go on down, down the lows and tents, and go get some drywall.
a liar to many people because of the promises I had to make to them financially about what I'm going to be able to do here soon. And each time I would give it seven days. And, and every time I said, I'm going to do it in seven days, my date got pushed back. And it kept getting pushed back. So I just started saying, you know what? I, no, I didn't say that of me. I wanted to say that of me. But I didn't say it like that. I just simply said, sir, I apologize for what happened. Yet, I'm whatever you say I am. I'll leave your mouth. But I'm everything that God said I am. Amen. Amen. So when it shows up, I have it for you. And if you need the interest, I have that too. Because I understand something. It really doesn't have anything to do with what I owe. It has everything to do with what do I believe and what I know. It's in me. See, I wanted to cover some scriptures today, but I don't want to have time. I wanted to show you how David prophesied Christ's resurrection. When David said, don't leave my soul in hell. Don't, don't, don't let that be now. I, I, I serve you. And how Paul in the book of Acts or Luke, you know, Acts, pointed out how in Acts 2 that it was David prophesying what Christ was going to say and do on the cross. And let me show you all something. It, see, I want you to not take it personal, but make it personal. If you want to understand what I just said in a moment, if you don't. Don't take it personal, but make it personal. If God took his only beloved son and caused him to hang on the cross to be beaten and spit upon by the people that he both to Say to die for him. Not really giving him a, 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 a true laid out plan of how he's going to do this thing. To the point that his son says, Eli, Eli, Sabbath me. Eli, Eli, Sabbath me. Why has thou forsaken me? See, you may not be saying the correct word of Eli, Eli, Sabbatane, verbally. But in your mind, in your soul, your situation, your circumstances, the requirements that are placed on you, what's been given to you, have you walk around like this right here. Eli, Eli, Sabbatane. God, why are you forsaking me? I had plans. I had dreams. I had hopes. I had vision. And you brought me through this way here. And you forsaken me. And God will say now one thing. Thank you, turn out the lights. Because <coughs> the Bible said, the sky with black is dark. And Jesus said, my dad never left me. He's forsaken me. Can you imagine being in a situation where the one person that pumped you up to go do this thing told you we were going to ride together? I got your back. And, and at the hardest time when you got on the cross, you had done everything they told you to do. You had started the business, you had started the ministry. You went and married the you had done everything they told you to do. And all of a sudden, it's like all hell is breaking loose. The, the lights are out. Everything is, is coming, coming through for you. And all of a sudden, you're hanging on the cross. Holding, holding on with your, all those scriptures in your life, trying to make God a good this thing. And God has said, I won't work you. In fact, it goes dark. And you lift up your eyes in the place of hell, the place you did not want to go. And you tear it out of the three days. And if your spirit right, you put out there what Christ did. While he was down there, he went down there talking about, oh Lord, no. No, God. He went down there and, and, and the fact that they captivity captive. He preached. 
preach to the sinners. He, he preached to all those that were down there. Yeah. Took the keys from 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 from, from, from saints. What the Bible say? Yeah, that's it. So I don't know who I'm preaching to, but right now you're in hell. The life has been turned down on your life. I want you to dig down deep in, 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 your, in, in your soul and allow Holy Ghost to raise up and cause you to move continually in faith, knowing that Christ, that God Himself will come down and resurrect you out of your deep and darkest place. Baby, it ain't over yet. Just because it looks like it's over, it's not over yet. You and I will rise again. We will rise again. And it shouldn't take long. All it takes is the moment we have come to agree with God's word. The Bible, the word of God is what? Quick and powerful. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you.